One thing about music, you don't need to be super well trained, right? Like you, you do not know, need to go to Berkeley. Um, so one thing I see with a lot of people who like have, like you would look at it as like innate um, skill or you would say talent, but I always look at it as like, okay, well, what is their influence? And so when you look at Dylan, Dylan loves Ed Sheeran. Like Dylan loves Ed Sheeran and he loves the Beatles. Now, if you listen to Ed Sheeran and the Beatles and you learn all their songs and you use their music as frameworks for what you do, you are just going to get, like you immediately have a leg up on everyone else because those guys write the best songs. Like Beatles of all time and then Ed Sheeran is like absolutely amazing. And then um, like, and, and if you reverse engineer those people, you're gonna get really good really fast in the sense of like, you're not jumping into the songwriting game being like, well, how do these chords work? You like straight away know that this shit is going to work because you've played songs that work. Now, when I came back from Berkeley, I was so shit, right? And, and still to this day, it kind of it kind of kills me a little bit on the inside when I get up there and I practice as fucking hard as I do and I watch my brother-in-law get on stage with me and he sings fucking beautiful crazy and he sounds so close to Luke Combs like it is just so good he like has the great tone everything and he does not train but then you look at it like like my wife um, and my two brothers-in-law and even my sister-in-law, she's a fantastic singer as well. None of them are trained, but what they did was they lived on cattle properties and all they did was listen to great singers and try to copy them. And like that is the biggest hack on how to get good at music is like, like that is beyond Berkeley. Like the Berkeley shit is going to give you the framework if you want to get like technical about it. But you want to get good at music, just listen to great music and copy it. And then try to see, like, monitor yourself and, like, are you copying it right? Are you doing a better job? And then eventually you get closer and closer to it. And, like, that's where you see people who, like, don't have huge training actually slay. 